Hi guys, what is up? It is AppSmart101 here, and in today's video, I'll have an app review for you of Shell Razor. But before we start with this app review, I just want to let you guys know to please follow me on Twitter for updates, as well as check my website for all the app reviews, and please subscribe to me here on YouTube for more app reviews. Thanks, guys, and we'll get straight on into the app review of Shell Razor. In the main menu of the game, you have a few different options credit, start, and more games. We'll just start though. Okay, so you can hear, see here. We have three slots for games. We can have two, three games going at one time. You can see I have my first one here. We'll just go from where I left off. And it does have iCloud synchronization. So if you were to play this game, what that basically means is if you played this on your iPod Touch or iPhone, and then you switched to your iPad, it would not lose your saved data. So you would be able to go right from where you left off on your iPad if you beat that mission on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So that is very, very cool for this application to have that. Alright, so here's basically the world map. You see you have bunches of missions you can play from. For all these missions for 99 cents, you know, they gotta be crazy. See, there is a bunch and bunch of missions. Okay, so we'll just play this one. Alright, so I'll go over uh, basically what you do. You see we have available weapons here. I can add new weapons if I wanted to. Simple stuff like that. And then we, you see we have available items on the side. So like, if we wanted this Sharpnel, you see here's what it, they do. It heals 5% more damage to ground. To, it deals 5% more. So I probably want that on my minigun, considering I use that. Um... And then I'll want this on the top one. Okay, so I just added that weapon. You see I have a gunner and a, I guess you could say a blaster. I'll just put that up there with the heal thing. And then you have items down here that I can add. You can see this hot sauce that will blast your foes with burn of shell fire. So it kills your enemies pretty fast. Uh, actually, I'll put this on instead of the band-aid because I do like that a little bit more. Mm. We'll change that out. All right. And then we'll say yes. So you unlock many weapons in this game. The controls are pretty simple here. You just, you can either, hold on, let me show you guys. I'll go on to help. Shows better. So you can either go one-handed or two-handed here. So here's basically what you do. You drag to your enemy or you tap on your enemy to kill them. That's how you kill them. So, and then I, I have two weapons available to me. You hold on to your turtle for him to go. And then enemies come at the ground and top. As you move on throughout the game, it gets a lot harder. More enemies start coming and there's more things shooting at you at harder speeds to kill you see that top gun has to uh... you have to wait you just can't fire it like a full auto gun like you can the machine gun so it does add a bit of difficulty to it i found it's best to go slower around th turns like this because you you can uh... kill them a little easier than you could have before And then, as you can also see, I can take damage. My turrets are taking damage. You see those little health bars by them. I'm more worried about the ground things, though, since those uh, seem the things in the air, sorry about that, they seem to kill you faster than the ground units. And they're harder to kill in the air. At the top up there, you can see the bar from where I need to get to. When both of your turrets die, your game will end. If you run over a unit without killing them, it will your bar on your meter will go down, so you'll take a lot of damage. Okay, so you can see I died. There was the finish line right there. So that's basically the game. After you're finished, you'll see your coins collected, your level completion bonus, and then your total score. You'll get uh, coins every time you complete a mission, whether you live or die, so that's cool. Then you can upgrade based on how many coins you have or you can use in-app purchases to upgrade your thing throughout the game. 
So this is Shell Razor. Overall, I give this app four and a half stars out of five. It's definitely a very good pick up and play game. I definitely recommend it. As you saw, there was huge, huge amounts of levels in this game. So you'll definitely have hours of gameplay and you'll keep upgrading your gun. I was on beginner difficulty there, so that shows you how hard this game is. So it offers much difficulty for any player, so I definitely recommend you pick it up at 99 cents. Please follow me on Twitter for updates, as well as share my website for with app reviews, and please subscribe to me here on YouTube for more app reviews. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in my next video.